all began in, in 1994. A local community member, Lynn Sparks, happened to see an article in the Women's Weekly and it was all about the Lemon Festival over in Menton in France. She showed Mum and Mum thought, this is a great idea, we should do it here. So she brought in the article to the tourism manager at the time and, you know, she says, well, look, look what they're doing over there. Why can't we do something like this here? She wrote letters to the council in Menton in France. Asking them, you know, how do they do it and um, they'd be interested to do something like that over here. Eventually they wrote back in French. The letters needed to be translated back and forth. And so yeah, that, that's where it all began. We kicked off the first year with three sculptures on the lawns in the main street of Ben Avenue. And then from there on, it just got bigger and bigger and it hasn't stopped getting bigger, taken off like a shot. How much more unique can you get? It's the only place in Australia you can see 100,000 oranges attached to these steel frames with rubber bands for two weeks made into these three-dimensional amazing works of art. It really puts Griffith on the map. On construction day, well, we get up to 700 people there. They have a sausage sizzle there. Oh, it's a bit of a fun morning. You know, five, six-year-olds through to 95-year-olds getting out there, putting oranges on their frames. You don't just do your sculpture. Some people go and help others. Certainly visitors that come to town are blown away by the display. People will travel for an experience. You know, you put that together with our unique hospitality, our country hospitality. It's something that, you know, we are really proud of and, and it's an amazing show of, of community spirit that we really do have here in Griffith.